Hello everyone. I want to take the opportunity to speak to you all in light of the ongoing COVID-19 response. I appreciate that this has been and continues to be an extremely challenging and worrying time for you all. And I acknowledge the incredible commitment and effort being made by everyone across the WA Health System, wherever they work. With the situation changing rapidly, I wanted to give you a personal update on some of the recent developments that are helping us in our fight against COVID-19. As noted in my global yesterday, we have taken now receipt of a full charter aircraft of supplies, including more than 1 million face masks and over 100,000 face shields, of which had previously been in short supply as well as as a, as a range of other critical items of PPE. This delivery greatly assists us in meeting our current increased demand, as well as strongly preparing us for any increase in COVID-19 positive patients and the associated pressure on the system. We will not allow the safety of any of our staff to be compromised. We are also increasing our collaboration with aged care, mental health, primary care and community health sectors to ensure that we are doing everything we can to prepare and protect people working in these key areas and the people that they care and provide for. Improving hospital and ICU capacity as well as increasing capacity in the community sector along with increased staffing to continues to be a strong focus for the department and we are working closely with all private hospitals and day hospital operators to ensure the best outcome for patients across this state. Within the Department of Health, we have seen significant changes at the East Perth offices with the State Health Incident Coordination Centre being stood up in recent weeks. SHIC is the state level centre responsible for the strategic coordination of the health response to COVID-19 and provides a crucial coordination role between external agencies and the WA Health System. We are also continuing to see a steady rate of testing in our COVID clinics with over 18,500 tests undertaken. An eighth clinic is due to be opened in Broome tomorrow and contact tracing of positive cases is continuing every day. I want to sincerely thank those of you who are working across a range of diverse roles to respond to this crisis. This includes the many staff who have changed positions, moved locations or taken on new responsibilities as we all continue to contribute to the COVID-19 response. I know that all of you are working extremely hard every day whilst also continuing to make arrangements in your home life to adjust to the many challenges presented by this pandemic. Your commitment to caring for the people of WA is commendable. We must forge together as a team, be respectful, supportive and caring of each other, no matter what challenge is presented. Most importantly, we must look after each other by practicing the best hand hygiene and please by staying at home if you are unwell. I urge everyone to continue to heed the guidance provided by the government on social distancing and the other associated measures to keep us safe, particularly over the upcoming Easter weekend. The Department of Health, along with the health service providers, will continue to do everything it can do to make sure you are safe in the work you do and we will work tirelessly to support you. Please take a bit of time to check in with your families and your colleagues during this period. You are also very important. Thank you for everything you are doing.